Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Harry and David about season two of Industry, premiering on HBO August 1st. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. No worries. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is this is exciting. I mean, so season one was 2020, November 2020 on HBO. And three years ago, it started the pandemic. Doesn't it feel like ages ago? <laughs> it, it, it really does. Yeah, a very long time ago. Like sometimes I look at, you know, I've seen photos of us guys when we were making the first season in 2019 or so even further back. Wow. Just look like babies, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit upsetting, really, but like, that's <laughs> life, I suppose. But, yeah. I feel like that always happens when also there's delays and everything, like, or even sometimes a pilot is shot for a show and then they take a break, they come back for the rest. And it's like in episode one, everyone looked a lot younger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I always see it as, uh, you know, I get, I get some DMs from people and I'm, I'm almost gauging it by how many DMs I've got that, say, that says when is season two dropping or when is season two dropping people are you know like come on man but here they're, we are they're we're passionate here. they're persistent the industry fans <laughs> now I find that interesting Harry so I'm just curious what your mindset is because I feel like a lot's going on when a show comes back for season two there's obviously like the obvious thing is you all, you want to make season two better than season one. That's always like the main thing. But then there's the character kind of progressions and relationships and developments. What's on your mind specifically based on everything I just said for season two, Harry? Yeah, I mean, absolutely that. Like, um, obviously, like season one is something we all like really worked hard on together and, yep. and something we were really proud of in the end and, and so grateful that, that people found it interesting and enjoyable. And, um, and the show found its own kind of community of fans that really responded to it, which is such a, a gift, you know? And and then of course with that comes the pressure and responsibility of trying to do it again, but not only do it again, push it further and and really push the envelope on it and um, and take the show to, to new places and, and the characters to, to, to new places. Oh, but, absolutely. You know, that's um, in, this, in this golden age of television that I think we're experiencing at the moment, that's the real, um, the real joy for an actor is that, you know, if you think in total, we've played these characters for like a year now, you know, yep. two seasons, which is such a rare kind of uh, uh, gift. And, and, and you feel as though they belong to you and you kind of migrate closer to them in, in personality. And, 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 you know, we were saying before that, you know, the writers, when they first wrote these characters, they were writing them as, you know, just visions in the head. And now they have our faces, you know, and so it's, it's so only it makes sense that there's a kind of a merging of who they are and who we are and and, um, and you're able to take some real ownership over over the person you're playing um, yeah. it's a lovely thing and they 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 feel um, like friends by this point absolutely david does it sometimes feel specific with this show does it sometimes feel like you're working on two different shows because what i mean by that is sometimes like in one regard, it's about the world of investment banking. The other side of things, it's not about investment banking. It's about these characters and what they're dealing with, and it's about life. Do you ever think about that a little bit, like Taylor Two Shows a little bit? Oh man, one hundred percent. That's that's that's. I almost, um, you know, when I'm whenever I read the script, I always kind of go through this the script in like two paces. I go like, what's happening in terms of like the banking, and what's <laughs> happening in terms of like me or, or Harper or, or, or anyone you know it, it totally feels like that but I think that's also part of the genius of this show you know like I feel like them the back uh, Mickey and Conrad the writers the directors have really worked to try and get deeper under the surface it's like the, the biggest misinterpretation I guess anyone can make about this show is that it's a show about banking like it's not you know it's um it's way deeper than that and uh and and as actors, as young actors, we, we just want to bring that to life. And that's what that's what we revel in. Yeah. Harry, get into what David said, but get it back to like the fact that okay, maybe it is about investment banking. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that point, from that perspective, though, when you kind of signed on to this project and you were cast for this, did it excite you being part of a show that would show 
um, a profession and a world of, of like that maybe people weren't maybe familiar with or anything, because that's my favorite thing about storytelling too, right? We're diving into investment banking. A lot of people might not be familiar about it. There are some shows here and there about, you know, the banking world and everything, but did that come to mind excitement wise when like going back to when you were cast for this as well? Yeah, absolutely. I think obviously, as you can imagine, as actors, we didn't know an awful lot about banking. Um, <laughs> But uh, I, I don't think you, you have to necessarily. I think in order to, you know, obviously there are scenes that are very intense and there's lots of banking jargon going back and forth. But really when you're working on those scenes, the crucial thing for us is to know what the implications of those moments are and like what the stakes are. And if you understand what the stakes are, then you can, then you can play it. But of course, yeah, like you say, it's a real exciting thing to kind of have a peek behind the curtain of, of what a, an entirely different world industry uh, is. And, um, and I think that's something that the audience can enjoy as well, because, you know, that's what entertainment is at the end of the day. It's escapism into something that doesn't belong to you, you know, and um, it's taking a step away from your own life. And, and I think in terms of like that world, and uh, I, I always found it useful to think of the, the bank itself, Pierpoint, as, as a character in the show. There's, there's us guys and then there's, mm. then there's the bank. And it's this whole other living, breathing thing that has a relationship to everyone in the show. In fact, I was speaking to a friend the other day, and this might sound a, a niche kind of silly reference. But they were like, it's a bit like the plant in Little Shop of Horrors, because it's like it's this thing that's in the corner of the room that is like, it just needs to be fed. And like, it's there. And it's like, it's like putting everyone under pressure and it can t make you do things you don't want to do. But it's it's there the whole time, and um, it's got a relationship to everyone, and we all have to kind of commit to it, you know. We asked David, "Hey, David, who's your favorite character in industry? The bank." <laughs> <laughs> the bank, sure the bank. <laughs> the bank, for sure, hands down, best character. Yeah. It's the it's, it's the biggest, it's the biggest character for sure. <laughs> it's so crazy to see that. But David, kind of adding to it, because I found that very interesting what you said about storytelling and kind of getting thrown in and everything. David, is that your favorite thing about being a storyteller, essentially, like getting to dive into all of these different worlds? Like, is that one of the best things about it? You know, uh, you know, 100%, like, I, I can't even say it. You know, you say it sometimes and it sounds a bit gross or, yeah, but it, it genuinely is. Like, I love the element of surprise and not knowing stuff, you know, about... I know me decently well. I love to learn about other people and other worlds completely. So getting this job as one of like our first, my our first jobs out of drama school was like such a gift and yeah. to come back to them. You know, Harry was just saying a minute ago, I think we've done this role now. We both we played Gus and Robert and Harper and Jasmine as like, like for one year now. Like we've been able to play them for one full year, which is, no day has felt the same no day has felt like oh i'm him again we're learning something new we're being surprised and yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm as an actor that's what i like yeah harry to add to that a little bit because the writing on industry is so incredible and everything are you grasping the idea though of like you might like you think you have a like you think you have a grasp of your character but like are you getting are you getting familiar with the idea that you might never because of just how amazing the writing is and all the changes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like you, you'll be doing something and, and you think just when you think you've got a grasp on it, then the writers, we have two brilliant writers, they'll put something down and you'll be sent a script and you go, oh, like that is not how I thought Robert was going to react to this style. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's your job as an actor to kind of uh, reach out to that and, and find a, uh, an access to it that works for you. And, and that's actual proper collaboration. And that's when a, an actor and a writer are sharing this thing that uh, they both feel like they have a, a commitment to and yeah. responsibility for and and you're meeting in the middle and and working out um the way forward you know but the, the writers give us such brilliant kind of stimulus to go off and um yeah and that's one of the real strengths of the show is that these characters aren't uh, predictable and they're not perfect they're very very flawed um but but ultimately human and relatable and hopefully we root for them even when they're making mistakes I just want to see what the bank is up to in season two. <laughs> I just want to know. I want to see the arc and the growth of the bank. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Change for the bank. 
Stay tuned for the bank. Stay <laughs> tuned for the bank. Before we wrap up, David, um, you know, we talked about a little bit before, you know, obviously no spoilers and everything. It's premiering on HBO um, August uh, 1st, Industry Season 2. When they get to watch Industry on HBO, what are you hoping the audience gets out of it takeaway-wise? Okay, you know, I mean, uh, having, having done Season 1, like, what was so humbling to me was the amount of people that just enjoyed it, like just enjoyed watching something for the sake of watching something during lockdown and the pandemic and all that horrible stuff. I hope the audience takes that away from it this time, but I definitely hope the audience gets a bit more of a feel for who these people are, you know, yeah. um, at the core and, and fundamentally, and hopefully sees another part of themselves that they never thought they, they knew. But that's, 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 that's my hope. Yeah. Harry, do you want to add to that a little bit? Like takeaways? For the audience yeah completely like i just um we were so humbled by the support that the show got um and the way it found its 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 own way to our audience and um yeah i really hope that the the audience continue to be kind of surprised by the characters and and um and you know there's a lovely thing about this show that is kind of divisive like different people root for different characters and they have their own favorites and their own <laughs> and, and stuff like that and i hope that in a way that some of those things are flipped on their head uh in in season two to. and um i hope they get everything they got from the first the first one and more because i think we've really kind of made a conscious effort to to step up the show and and and, and take it to a new place and, and and we've kind of matured with it and um yeah i just i just hope everyone enjoys it the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm smiling is because i'm just picturing what are you saying you know i really i really hope they like what they did with the character of the bank this season you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> That's never gonna escape my mind. <laughs> Is it starting to hit you more today? I mean, you're doing press today, so obviously it's gonna hit you today. That's coming out soon, but like last couple of weeks, is it starting to kind of sink in that season two is coming out? Yeah, yeah. is that fair to yeah. say? Yeah, I mean, it kind of feels as though in a way that it's come around kind of quickly because our only frame of reference for this is the first season and, and we had to wait a really long time for the first season to come out because I think there was a few delays with the pandemic. Yep. And so I remember thinking uh, in 2020, it was like this thing that we all done that, we, that was never going to happen. Uh, and like the, almost like it, it was a bit of a, a dream. Whereas this time, uh, it, it, it feels as though it's come around very quickly. It, it only felt like a couple of weeks ago that we were making it. And... Um, yeah, it's, it's nice, and I, I feel kind of confident about it, and, and I'm just excited to see what people think. The premiere is right around the corner, August 1st on HBO Season 2 of Industry. Harry, David, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turnip and chatting. This was so great chatting with you. Thank you. Love to chat to you, too. Cheers. Awesome. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnitive. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnitive on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.